Today on our 2018 Kia Sorento, we're going to take a look at and also show you how to install the Kurt Custom Fit Class 3 trailer hitch receiver. This offers the 2 inch by 2 inch receiver tube opening. Its part number is C13195. Now here's what our hitch is going to look like when you get it installed. You'll see the cross tube. It's going to run across about to this point, then a bracket's going to tuck up and over the hitch, and then of course it's going to go over and match up to the frame. Got the hardware. There's no drilling or anything like that required, so it's a pretty easy installation. The class three hitch, so we've got the two inch by two inch receiver tube opening. Nice flush reinforcement collar around the end there. And it's going to be inside the outer edge of the bumper, so we're not going to have to worry about running into it or anything like that. Now, since this is a class three hitch, it's going to make it extremely versatile. Works out really well with bike racks, cargo carriers, just about any type of accessory they'd make to go in a hitch is probably going to come in a class three variety. To hold those items in place, you'll want to use the 5 8 diameter pin hole you see here on the side. You can use a standard pin and clip, locking hitch pin, or anti-rail device. Looks like you're going to have plenty of room around there for that to work. Our safety chain connection points are plate style. It's not too wide here, so any type chain you should be able to get connected without a real big issue. And it's plenty open if you want to even use some of the larger ones. Now the hitch has a 750 pound tongue weight rating. That's the maximum downward force we can put at our receiver tube opening. And it offers a 5,000 pound gross trailer weight rating. That'd be the total weight of your trailer and anything you were to load up on it. You definitely want to check the owner's manual on the Sorento though. See what its tow rating is and not exceed that. Now one thing to keep in mind when hauling non-wheeled loads, something like a cargo carrier or a bike rack, anything really other than a trailer, Kurt does recommend the use of an additional support strap. Now a couple measurements you'll find helpful for selecting your ball mount bike rack or hitch cargo carrier will be from the ground to the inside top edge of a receiver tube opening, we've got about 13 inches. Then from the center of our hitch pin hole to the outermost edge of our bumper, it's about three and a half. And to begin our installation, we're going to need to lower down the spare tire. So you want to get into the back side of the car, lift up on this lever and open this little panel. You just use a flat blade screwdriver and you'll see right down here on the driver's side floor, the spare tire cover. So pop that off. Then we'll have a nut right there. Now you can use your spare tire tool or a 21 millimeter socket. Now we're just going to get that lowered down. You don't need to completely remove it, but you do need it down and out of the way to give your hitch room. Now we're going to move to the outside of the vehicle. We're here in the driver's side rear corner. We're going to take this plastic panel down. There's a couple fasteners holding it in. We've got one, two, three, four, push pin fasteners here on the outside. Basically, you're just going to take the center section of that out and pull the whole thing out. Now, hang on to these. We're going to put them back in later. There's a fifth one of these, the exact same style. It's going to be right up here on this front edge, right up there. Now, we'll go right up on the top. You see these little cutouts here? Right above them, there are push nuts. But if you use a 14 millimeter socket, you can reach up there and just unthread those. It doesn't take a lot of effort. Pull down on that. We can get that rotated out of the way. Now we can start lowering our exhaust down. We're going to be removing three exhaust hangers. We've got one located right here. If we come caddy corner on the exhaust, get it right up here, kind of just inside of our passenger rear tire. And if we'll follow this pipe up just a little bit, there's one right here in the middle of the car. Now your best bet for getting these removed is usually just a little bit of spray lubricant and then a big screwdriver or pry bar. You just kind of want to push out on them. All right, that'll buy us a little bit of room so we can get our hitch up into position. Now on the driver's side for our attachment points, we're going to be using the rear weld nut, which you can see right here. And then we've got the two holes through the frame here and here. We want to clean this weld nut out just to make sure there's no debris or rust in there that will keep our bolt from starting. We use a little bit of spray lubricant and a nylon tube brush. This is part number 814092. Now on the passenger side, we're going to be using both of the weld nuts here and here, and then also the two holes that pass through just like the driver's side. Now just in front of where our weld nuts are, we're going to have a frame plug on each side. We're going to pull that down and out of the way. Now with the help of an extra set of hands, we'll get our hitch lifted in position. 
We're going to go over the exhaust on the passenger side. And we go up into the driver's side. Now we've got these short M10 bolts we're going to thread into those weld nuts. You can see our conical tooth washer. It's going to have little teeth. We want those facing up towards our hitch. Now once we have three or four good turns on that, we'll just let our hitch rest there while we get our other hardware in place. Now you want to take the larger of your carriage bolts. They're going to be the same length. We've got two that are a half inch and two that are smaller 716s. The driver's side will use the two larger ones. We're going to go through our hitch side plate. Come out here on the inside. We can thread on our nut. Do the same thing for the rear hole location. Now these we pass from the outside of the frame rail through to the middle. Now we'll use our smaller ones here on the passenger side and they're going to go from the inside of the frame rail to the outside. Now we'll take our smaller flange nuts and we're going to thread one on that. Take the last bolt, we're going to put it through the rear hole location. Now we want to go through and torque down all of our fasteners to the specifications which will be listed in our instructions. For the half inch bolts, we'll use a three quarter inch socket or a 19 millimeter. Now on our M10 bolts, we'll use a 17 millimeter socket. Now on our 7 16 inch carriage bolts, we'll use an 11 16 inch socket. Now we're going to get our panel pushed back in place here. Just want to line up your holes, line up those studs with those nuts, and then you'll just push up. That's going to hold that there. Then we just need to put our push fasteners in. Remember we took out five, four on this edge and one on that front. Now we'll get our exhaust put back up in position. It's a good idea here to use a little bit more spray lubricant. It'll help guide those on a little bit. Now we can get that spare put back in position. As you do, you might have to bring it up behind the hitch just to kind of get it started, then bring it on up. With everything back in place, that's going to complete our installation of the Kurt Custom Fit Class 3 Trailer Hitch Receiver, part number C13195 on our 2018 Kia. Thanks for watching. Click the link in our description below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com. And leave us a comment if you have any questions.